This is the day that the Lord has made. Come on, let's rejoice and be glad in it. It's Wednesday, so you know what time it is. It's time for the sweet hour of prayer. Come on, call a neighbor, call a friend. Let them know that Unity Day Time is on the air everywhere. We invite you to come and join with us as we, the people of God, come before the presence of God to submit our petitions before God to find the help that we need in the time of need. We're so glad that you came today. We invite you to come on and, and, and join us on today because we have, I have a feeling that we're going to have an awesome time in prayer as we come before our good and gracious God. If you have a prayer request, you're more than welcome to submit that prayer request to the information right there that's on the screen. We love to partner in prayer with you. We believe by faith that prayer requests do become praise reports. We don't take your prayer requests lightly. We don't take them for granted. But whenever we get your praise report, we receive them and treat them with the strictest of confidentiality. And then once we get that prayer request, we take it before the throne of God. And we believe that God does hear and God does answer our prayers. So, would you do us the, do us the honor? Submit your prayer request to us today. We'd love to pray with you. We'd love to pray for you. We love to mix our faith with your faith and watch God work that thing out for your good. Also, if you have a praise report, if God has blessed you in any way because of the prayers that the saints have prayed for you, we want to know about it. So please, man, please, sir, send us your prayer request to the information that you see right on the screen. We would love to pray with you. We would love to hear about your testimony. We would love to hear how God answered your prayer. No matter how big you think it is or how small you think it is, we would love to pray for you today. We'd love to shout off of your praise report. So don't delay. Call us. Email us. Write us. We'd love to hear from you. And we'd love to pray with you. And we'd love to praise with you. We love pray we love prayer requests, but we also love praise reports. And we believe that God will turn what you're asking for into what He's already done. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. We thank you for trusting us with your prayer requests and your praise reports. Again, welcome to the sweet hour of prayer. We pray that your day has been a great day, and if it has not been a great day, we declare that it does get better as you continue to join us on this journey towards the throne of God. Also, don't forget to do three things for us, as we always say every week. Do three things for us. Number one, hit the like button. We would love to know that you are watching this and that you're being blessed by this. And also, not only like, also comment. Let us know how much this is being a blessing to you. We want to know. Are we, are we being effective? Are we helping somebody? Are we doing what the Lord has told us to do in this area of prayer? So please, man, please, sir, make sure you like and comment, but also share. Hit the share button. Somebody needs to be blessed the way you're about to be blessed. Somebody needs a, a, a prayer the way you need prayer. I can't think of anybody that doesn't need prayer. I can't think of anybody who doesn't need us to talk to God on their behalf. So please, man, please, sir, um, we'd love to uh, like, tag, like, comment, and share this with somebody today. Would you do that for us? God bless you, and God keep you as our prayer. All right, let's get to the sweet hour of prayer. Let's get to our prayer focus for today. It's, it's found in the Old Testament book of Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 15. Proverbs chapter 15. Verse 1 and 2. Uh, I want you to tag somebody with this. Uh, also share this with somebody. Proverbs chapter 15. Verse 1 and 2. And today we're reading from the New King James Version of the Holy Writ. Proverbs chapter 15. Verse 1 and 2. And this is what it says. A soft answer turns away wrath. Right, but, a, but a harsh word stirs up anger. The tongue of the wise uses knowledge rightly, but the mouth of fools pours forth foolishness. The word of God for the people of God. My brothers and sisters, I'm, I'm led to believe that God wants us to watch 
our mouths. We need to monitor our mouths. There are some things that come out of our mouths that should not come out. There are some things that we say that ought not be said. And then there are some things we should be saying that we don't say. And so today we want to pray that God helps us to monitor our minds and help us to watch our words. In the book of Proverbs it does say, death and life are the power of the tongue. So that being said, it's prayer time. Let's go before the presence of our God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you today. For this is the day that you have made. And we will rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you, God, that you've allowed us one more day to live in this world. You've allowed us one more day of purpose, one more day of destiny, one more day of productivity. You have kept us all day long. Even until this point, you've been so great to us. We don't take that lightly, nor do we take it for granted. But we honor you, God, and we bless you because we know that you are the giver of all things. You are the gracious God. You are the holy God. You are the magnificent God. And we bless you, God, and we honor you for that right now. Now, Father, in the name of Jesus, we come because we know that there's power in what we say. There is life in what we say. There's also death in what we say. And sometimes, God, we have not said everything we were supposed to say. We have not said some things that you've instructed us to say. We've caused some, some things that have hindered blessings and hindered peace and hindered strength and hindered growth. And Father, not for other people, but for ourselves. God, we admit, we've talked ourselves out of the blessing. We've talked ourselves out of truth. We've talked ourselves out of forward progression. we talked ourselves out of being where you wanted us to be. God, forgive us. Help us now as we move forward to monitor our mouths, to watch what we say and watch how we say it. Father, some of us have spoken in bitterness, some things we were never supposed to say. Some of us have spoken some things, God, in anger and frustration and rage and malice and God, because of that, we no longer feel as if we can walk into that set place. But God, knowing you like I do, I know that the same way we taught ourselves out of it, we can talk ourselves right back into it. So now, Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for those of us who are, who are watching this right now, that you would help us to speak those things that are for the progression of not only our brother man, but also for ourselves. Help us to speak life. Help us to speak strength. Help us to speak productivity. Help us to speak things that are, that, are, that are vital and necessary for our good success. Make our tongues as the pen of the ready writer. Father, in the name of Jesus, if we're in sin, help us to speak repentance and renewal. If we're sick, help us to speak healing. If we're in bondage, help us to speak deliverance. If we're down, Help us to speak upward motion. If we're too high, help us to speak humility. If we're out, help us to speak inward. If we're in, help us to speak to the place where we need to be. If we are in a place of hurt, help us to speak wholeness over our own lives. But not only do we speak for, other, for ourselves, but Father, we speak for other people. And so in the name of Jesus, for everyone who is under the sound of my voice, I speak with my mouth the blessings of the Lord over their life. I speak with my mouth healing power. I speak miraculous signs and wonders that cancer will go into remission, that diabetes would be healed, that even problems with their eyes will be restored in the name of Jesus. I pray, Father, that those, those who are dealing with COVID-19, God, that you would restore their breathing, you would restore that taste, that you would raise them up, God, and bring them out of that hospital, God, and let them walk out and tell the testimony that I serve a God who is a healer. God, I speak comfort over those who mourn, those who lost loved ones. I speak comfort in this time of bereavement. 
For those, Father, who don't have direction, I speak that you would guide them in all of their ways. Father, in the name of Jesus, for those who are broken, I speak healing in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we, it, we, it, it comes from our mouth. For those of us who have the spirit of heaviness, I speak praise. I speak life, God. In the name of Jesus. Because there's power in our proclamation. There's a miracle in our mouth. And we thank you, God. That even when people are angry, you've given us the wherewithal with our words to speak peace. So God, we speak peace. Even if the storm does not stop, we speak peace. Even if the rain keeps coming, we still speak peace. Even if the trouble still persists, we speak peace. Even if things seem to get worse, we speak peace. God, nobody else can help us but you. So now God, in the name of Jesus, we speak peace over our life right now. We speak the blessings of the Lord over your people. In the name of Jesus. Whatever it is they stand in need of, according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus, let it be so. Because we declare it to be so. Then, Father, there are those who have hurt us. We speak forgiveness. And then, Father, if we've hurt anybody. We speak remorse and repentance. So that we can resolve and come together with our brother and sister. Father, help us to monitor our minds so that forward, moving forward, God, we can speak those things that will produce whatever you want to produce in the earth. God, we thank you that nobody has control over our minds but us. The enemy doesn't have control. Our family and friends don't have control, but we have control over our minds. We thank you, God, that even if we can't do anything with our hands, even if we can't do anything with our feet, or our ears, or our eyes, or our nose, you've given us power in our minds. We thank you, Father. We bless you, Father. And it is so, but it cannot be otherwise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, 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 amen. Use your mouth. Watch your words, because God wants to do something in your life, and it only happens when you begin to use your words in your mouth. I pray from this moment on that you will begin to embrace the concept that there's a miracle in your mouth, there's a proclamation, there's a power in your proclamation. Watch this. I just prayed for you, and I just declared some things over your life, but watch this. It won't manifest until it comes out of your mouth. You have to say, Lord, let it be so. You have to say, Lord, let your, let your power prevail. You have to say, yes, Lord. I can't say it for you. You have to say it. And so, with everything in you, open your mouth and let miracles flow from you. Open your mouth. Let wonders flow from your mouth. Open your mouth. Let productivity come from your mouth. Let great things come from your lips that will utterly give God the praise and that his will may be done on planet Earth. I'm excited because you found a new tool to work with. Use your mouth. You know how to cuss. <laughs> you know how to fuss. You know how to argue. You know how to fight. You know, you know how to do all of that. Now, use your mouth to speak po positive, powerful things. I'm excited for you. I can't wait for you to start using your mouth for positive things. Listen, we gotta go. My time is up. I look forward to seeing you tonight at 7 p.m. for Wednesday with God Bible study. Call somebody, tell them to meet you back here in this space tonight, 7 p.m. There is a word from the Lord. Listen, we've talked to God. Now we want God to talk back to us. So come meet me back here tonight at 7 p.m. Let somebody know, hey, let's join Pastor Williams for Wednesday with God. I pray that you've enjoyed yourself today. Has this been a blessing to you? Were you blessed? I need to know. Let me know that you've been blessed. Let me hear you in the comments section 
We'd love to get your responses to know if this has been a blessing to you. If you're on YouTube, please hit us in the comment section. Let us know how much this has been a blessing to you. If you're on Facebook, hit us in that comment section. Come on, don't be ashamed. Type something. Let us know how blessed you were. And then share this with somebody else. Well, gotta go. May the rest of your day be the best of your day. Lord's well, I'll see you tonight. Until then, the blessing of the Lord be upon you. We bless you in the name of the Lord. Peace and faith.